BYU men's volleyball has a storied tradition of quality international players who journey to Provo, Utah to compete for national championships. That international flair paying off this season as well. Justin Ashby has more on BYU's fantastic foreigners. Mi nombre es Josué Rivera y soy de San Juan, Puerto Rico. Big swing by Josué Rivera. My name is Tim Dobbert and I uh, come from Deutschland. Tim Dobbert. Kazan oh. Sukiryo Meretev, Fijuera of Sedinenia, Bulgaria. Kiryo Meretev. I'm Carson Henniger and I'm from Southern Alberta, Canada. It's called McGrath. <laughs> Henniger! Oh, Canada! 15,000 combined miles separate Provo, Utah from these four players' hometowns. And although there's nothing foreign about the game they play, the coaching and techniques took some getting used to. The whole beginning it was like, okay Carson, we're in row six. I'm like, what the heck's row six? The system was completely different, like passing wise, like this changed me completely, the passing technique. Wow! <laughs> How are you supposed to hit balls and to dig, um, to hold our hands? Even though the team gets along great now, misunderstandings are not uncommon. Sometimes I will say like some words like uh, like different pronunciation. Like when I was back home, like I understand English, I like studying English, but I never talked to it. I was like talking Spanish all the time, so I never get to practice it. If we are like lost or confused, the other guys help us to understand and like put us on the right spot. And why in the world would athletes come halfway across the world to be a part of Cougar Nation? So I wanted to go to a university, study, and in Germany it's just super hard. Here it's, it's not easy, but we get so much help. Uh, in Bulgaria I'm like talented and I want to be like together, to be like a superstar kind of stuff. And like BYU is the best opportunity to make this. A team has to be friends before they can win games, and I can safely say on this team, there is no shortage of a few jokes. They give me a hard time about anything, like, because I sometimes would trash talking them. I'll get them back, don't worry. Every day I get them back, so. We welcome into the True Blue set now, Justin Ashby. Good to have you with us, man. Well, thank you. All right, my first question is, how in the world, and I mean world, literally, does Tim Daubert from Germany end up in Provo, Utah, of all places? Well, it's amazing. I mean, he's from a town of a thousand people. I mean, no one lives in his town. And he just started putting together a resume reel. Is what, I guess that's what we call it for us, but it's a highlight reel. Put it out on the internet, and Chris McGowan, BYU coach, found him, brought him to BYU, and now he's a huge part of the team. You want to get recognized, go to the TV machine. Okay, second question. From the story that we just watched, it looked like a lot of the guys wanted to come to BYU for similar reasons. Did, did you get that sense as well? Well, BYU might be a little different from other schools because it's a great academic school as well. So um, Kirill Meritev, he wanted to be an accountant. So he saw that BYU is one of the best schools in the country for accounting. So he came here in the video. It says he wants to be a superstar. He told me personally that he wants to be a superstar in volleyball as well as a superstar accountant. <laughs> superstar accountant, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Justin, great stuff. Thanks, man. Thank you.